So guys, what's it like living in Chiang Mai, Thailand in 2020 under a partial lockdown with the coronavirus and everything's happening in the world? It's, it's not too bad really, it's not too bad. Um, for a foreigner living in Thailand at this point in time, um, life is good. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else really guys um, Thailand has got a really low low count of corona cases things don't seem to be rising anytime soon some people thought that there's going to be a second wave the numbers are going down and things are looking good things are looking good to open up again really so um, the people in Thailand are are so nice um, I have heard stories in places where the locals are looking at the foreigners a little bit different which is understandable I suppose but I've not really had that in Thailand <clears throat> not at all not in Chiang Mai anyway um, maybe some other places in the country but Thai people are some of the best yeah Thailand in 2020 with the coronavirus this this is where I'd rather be at the minute, you know. The UK seems to be crazy numbers, man, crazy. Yeah, everything's good. Maybe things will start opening again soon. I've heard I've heard things might start opening, um, and I've heard that they're going to start relaxing some of the rules if if it all still if it all still goes good in early May, you know, and. The cases are still really low. Um, I think Chiang Mai's not had any now for maybe 15, 16 days, which is incredible, really. So, so yeah, things here should start to get better, guys. Um, now, there's still a curfew on from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m., I think. So, I think they should continue that, keep the curfew going maybe open up some other shops and stuff but keep the curfew I think it might be a while before the bars open and stuff but you need to take little steps at a time um, get a few more shops open and the restaurants so we can go and sit down and eat and stuff yeah so yeah it's a good life here at the minute it's a good life um, I can't really think of many negatives the only thing I'm missing is like the shops and stuff, the, the electronic shops if you need anything or the hardware shops here are still open so you can get most things, um, things for the room and um, people are starting to get a bit restless here I think, um, people have had enough, like all around the world you know guys, people probably having enough you know, want to get back to normal, everybody knows it's for, for the own for their own good to stay in and stuff and it's going to help the situation but that still doesn't still doesn't take away people get bored easy right people people get agitated easy and start want to be outside you know we're not meant to be inside and stuff are we we're meant to be out enjoying enjoying the outside so Thai people are really relaxed as well man they they take everything in their stride I think there's no panic or anything like that. They just carry on. Um, they're losing. They're losing their jobs. They haven't got food, and they still. They're still chilled people, you know. They still. They still battle on and try to get through it as calmly as they can. Um, I know probably back in England it's like a bit more panicky and stuff. So yeah, Thai people are generally relaxed and. I do feel sorry for them, man, I really do. Um, some people have got no money, no jobs. Um, they don't know what's going to happen next. And the government are only giving people 5,000 5, baht, I think, which which is nothing really, guys, is it? It's, it's, what's that? It's like just over 100, 100 English pounds. So, yeah, it's not good, but you see them queuing for free food and stuff. It breaks your heart, really. I wish I could help more, but just getting back to normal will be the best thing that can happen to them. Because they work here, you know, they work 
people people work long hours for for little money here you know so so they do they do need to get back to work but yeah living here living here in 2020 is is good man it's good um, the visas have been extended for people which is a good thing I think um, till July the 31st which was a bit strange but yeah Thailand feeling generous giving the people giving the people three months keeping it locked down so people not leaving the country and flying off to different places so yeah I can see the good in that you know I can see the good in it so it's all good so yeah just just my thoughts on what it's like living here at the minute guys um, a few people might be interested what's what's Thailand like at the minute with the coronavirus and maybe people will look back at this this vlog in in years to come just to see what Thailand was like under the coronavirus um, yeah I'm happy I'm I'm happy of course I'll be more happy when things are back to normal but they gradually will be guys they gradually will be so I don't think it's far off here so I think in the coming weeks things are going to start to change so yeah just a little vlog on living in Thailand in 2020 under the coronavirus so yeah catch you in the next vlog guys take it easy man take it easy